What's up guys, welcome to the Geek World Tech and today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your graphics card. So first of all, I'd like to start by saying that I take no responsibilities for any hardware failures due to overclocking or due to using this guide. So use this guide by your own risk. Um, not to say that you shouldn't overclock and it's going to damage your hardware, but just watch out, alright? So first things first, we need an overclocking utility, so I prefer using MSI Afterburner, but you can use EVGA Precision or, you know, whatever you want. Or maybe even the one in Catalyst Control Center, but, you know, don't use that because it doesn't have the um, custom fan curve thing that you can set. Another thing that you're going to need is Furmark. Now, this is a great software for testing whether your overclock is stable, so you're going to want to run that and keep your eyes peeled for any, you know, artifacts, black dots everywhere on the screen. Um, once you're done that, you want to get go ahead and get um, Heaven, the X11 benchmark, and uh, just run that loop for, I don't know, 3-4 hours and see if it freezes or locks or crashes. And uh, you also need a few games, so play a few games, see if um, it's stable. If not, then clock your, um, then just turn your clock down a bit more, and you should be good. So let's start. First, start by opening up MSI Afterburner. As you can see, you can monitor, you know, the temperatures, everything right here. So as you can see, I have a 6800 series that is a 6870. Um, this will work for the 7000 series as well, and this will work for the 5000 series, and uh, it will also work for NVIDIA graphics card, um, all of them except for the 600 series because they have um, GPU boost, which is slightly different, but you know I don't have one of those cards, so I'm not going to be covering those. So what you're going to want to do is um, try not to touch the core voltage because that adds a lot more heat so I'll try to avoid that so what what I would just do is first go up by like 50 on both the core and the memory clock and just hit apply and then run for mark so you're gonna wanna go up by increments basically um, yeah. Basically, just look at this image. If you see any black dots, or you know freezes, or locked out, or locks, or whatever, then yeah, basically your overclock is not stable. But if it's okay like it is right now, then it's all right. Make sure you monitor the temperatures and make sure that they try not to pass eighty-five degrees, because. Well, for long-term use, for 24-7 use, you, you wouldn't want to pass that. So anyways, run this for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. If it's stable, just close that. And then move up again, go up to like 960 and 1110. So go up by 10s once, once you finish going up by um, 50. And just keep going up until it's, keep going up and testing until it's unstable. You see lots of artifacts, you know, black dots, right here, right here, or whatever. Or it crashes, locks, or your device driver just stops working. Then, once you hit that mark, you would want to back up, you know, like go down. Just take your overclock and just tune it down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, you basically have your overclock. And then after you've, you're done that... You know, one thing I really like about this is you can save profile. So let's just say you have this and you're just like, oh, this works really well. You just save it so you can back up to it when you're done. And yeah, that was my maximum overclock that I achieved. So 980 and 1200 on core and memory clock respectively. So yeah, just go ahead and open heaven. Make sure that full screen is off and just run 
it's gonna take a while to load so just just leave this running for about three hours and if nothing happens and your temps don't go past like I don't know 80 or 85 or something then you're good yeah this is a really good benchmark to just sit here and watch but you know just go ahead and test this for three hours or so after that just hit quit and escape out of that after you're done you're gonna want to go ahead and just run some games and see if you if your um, graphics card crashes or not so that's about it for the overclocking side now after that you are gonna go ahead and click apply overclocking after sys at, um, system startup now what this does is it just runs at that clock all the time when you you know when you reboot or whatever but it's gonna idle back down to 300 or whatever it's just like speed stepping on an Intel CPU but except more different basically so go over to settings and uh, you want to go start with Windows um, leave these because you don't want to touch the voltages now for the fan you want to enable user-defined software and just set something like this you know using like 80 percent when it hits like I don't know 80 something percent you can just adjust this and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover so just click OK and save um, let's go with this you know just minimize this and bam you're done alright so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more computer videos like tutorials unboxings you know reviews gameplay all that good stuff so I'll see you guys next time